the Lord. Love you guys so much. How many is thankful to be in church this morning? Amen. Amen. I don't do this quite often, but we had a youth rally last night, and I loved seeing all of our young people sitting up here singing with me when we were worshiping God. So I would love all of our young people who are sitting in the back to come up here with this young man who came last night. And I would love you all to come back up here and let's worship God together because you guys sounded awesome last night. And it's the young people that are going to be the church of tomorrow. Amen. Thankful for our young people. I have found his grace is all complete. He supplieth every need. While I sit and learn at Jesus' feet, I am free as free indeed. For it is joy unspeakable and full of glory, full of glory, full of glory. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory. All the have have never yet been told. I have found the pleasure I once craved. It is joy and peace. Oh, dude. 
Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice. Come on, church. Rejoice in the Lord this morning. Woo! Shout a praise. Shout to the Lord. Shout to the Lord. He's worthy. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Woo! It's your season. I said it's your season. Woo! My, 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 my. Woo! Rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord this morning. Rejoice in the Lord this morning. Let him have his way. Glory to God. Woo! Rejoice. He said, while the earth remaineth, there is seed time. While the earth remains, there is harvest time. While the earth remains, there is cold, there is heat, there is summer, and there is winter, and they is die, and there is night, and they shall not cease. He said, I made you a promise. Church, look to his word. He promised it. He promised it. It's harvest time. It's harvest time. It's breakthrough time for you. You didn't come to church to break in. Honey, you come to church to break out. Woo! You didn't come to church to break down. You come to break through, my Lord. My my, it's your season, church. I said it's your season for your healing. It's your season for the Holy Ghost. It's your season for your miracle this morning. Don't let the devil rob you of what God has planned for you this morning. I was sitting back there praying. Let me tell you something. It's not the season of Antifa. It's not the season of culture cancel. I said it's the season of our Lord. It's the season of Jesus Christ. It is the see. This is the Christian holidays. Woo! Come on, somebody. I said this is our season. This is our time. Somebody ain't listening to me. Somebody's not listening to me. This is our season. We're not going to be silenced. We're not going to be silenced, but we're going to rise up. I said we're a church. We're an army this morning. We're an army that's raising up. It's a harvest time. I said it's harvest time. The enemy thinks, so Satan thinks he's in control. He thinks he's trying to distract us with all of his lies. But it's our God. It's our Lord Jesus Christ that's in control this morning. Our God reigns. I said, church, somebody say, they say it's my season this morning. It's my season to get my breakthrough. 
It's my season to get my deliverance. It's my season to get the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's my Lord. Whatever you need, one more time, folks, one more time. Let's stand up to your feet this morning and say, God, it's my season. Lord, I want my blessing. Lord, I want my breakthrough. Lord, I want my deliverance. Come on, church. Come on, God made you a promise. God made you a promise this morning. When Jesus, Holy Ghost is trying to do something, folks. I said the Holy Ghost is trying to do something in you this morning. If you'll just let him. I said if you'll just let him, put your guard down, put your wall down, and get your, get your pride out of the way, get yourself out of the way, and let God do something in you this morning. We was in Sunday school class this morning. We hadn't quite dismissed yet, and I heard this ruckus. I said, I heard this ruckus going on. First of all, I didn't know what it was, but then I got tuned in. I thought, my Lord, my Lord, somebody's having church. Somebody's having church. Somebody, somebody is already getting my Lord, my Lord. And the sound, and the sound kept getting closer. I said, and it kept getting closer. It kept getting a little bit. Are you hearing me, church? I said, there's a sound that's getting closer and getting closer this morning. And the closer it gets, the louder it's going to get. And I, and I heard this sound coming up the hallway. And it just kept getting closer. It kept getting louder. It kept intensifying. Come on, come on. And about that time, I started seeing these little kids. I started seeing these little kids had their palm branches. And they had their hands raised. And they were worshiping. And they were praising God. And they were rejoicing. Honey, church, we need to realize and get back to what it is to have that childlike faith this morning. Don't care what somebody thinks about you. Help me out, brother. Pride and self is stopping us. What we need is a good Holy Ghost Roto-Rooter job this morning. I said we need the Holy Ghost to Roto-Rooter our plumbing this morning because we got some pipes that are stopped up. These little kids, they kept on coming. They kept on, they opened my door and they just come in, took over our classroom. You could literally feel the anointing. You could feel the shake. You could feel the shaking. 
I began to weep. I began to cry. Let me tell you something this morning, church. You may rejoice. You may cry. You may raise. You may praise. But I'm telling you, it's all according to the Holy Ghost this morning. The Holy Ghost wants to bless you at assembly. The Holy Ghost wants to bless you this morning. The Holy Ghost wants to touch our nation. The Holy Ghost wants to... This scripture, this scripture found in Psalm the 8th chapter, verse 1 and 2. He says, oh Lord, our Lord, our Lord. Somebody say, he's my Lord this morning. He's my Lord. How excellent, how excellent is thy name in all the earth who has set the glory above the heavens. Watch this, watch this. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings has thou ordained strength because of thine enemies that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Do you know what I just told you right there? When you start letting go and letting God and start praising God, it paralyzes the enemy. Somebody shouts. I don't know about you, but I get sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of the devil having his way. I get sick and tired of the devil trying to rob you of your joy, trying to rob you of your health. Well, I'm telling you, if you'll rise up this morning, you say, devil, you're under my feet. Devil, devil, I paralyze you. Somebody start praising the Lord this morning. Paralyze the enemy. Paralyze him. Stop him. Shut him down. Shut him up. I said tell the devil to shut up. Don't call me tomorrow and say, oh, pastor, I'm having a tough day. Right now is the time. It's your season right now to get your victory. <laughs> Out of the mouths of babes, I want, I want all your kids. I want you to start walking around this place. Don't sit there and say, oh, ain't that the cutest thing you ever seen. Folks, this is Holy Ghost power. I said, this is Holy Ghost power. It's the little children. It's the little children. Let me tell you, if they can shut the devil up, honey, where are you this morning? If the children can paralyze the enemy, where is the grown-ups? Where are we at this morning? Don't sit back and not praise him this morning, church. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. You start walking, guys. You just start walking. You just start walking. You just start walking. Start singing this morning. It's your season. It's your season. It's your season, church. You can get in or you can just get out of the way this morning. But I'm telling you, if you're sick and tired of the devil getting your goat in this morning, it's today your breakthrough. Hallelujah. My Lord, my Lord. that old devil in his place this morning. Get him, Debbie. Come on, girl. Put the devil in his place. Come on. Come on, Sue. Woo! Paralyze 
as the enemy. Somebody paralyze it. Paralyze it. Gonna open up windows. Tell it's your season, girl. It's your season this morning, girl. My Lord. That's it, church. That's it. That's it. That's it. When you start walking around your walls at Jericho, they're going to start falling. The walls of Jericho are going to fall. Keep walking, guys. Keep on walking. Keep on walking. Keep on walking. My Lord. Somebody be waving your palm branches. Somebody be waving your palm branches this morning. You go, brother Russ. You go, brother. You go, kiddos. You go, kiddos. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. You go, Carol. You tell drugs. They don't have dominion over you no more. Woo, you tell them, girl. He's going to open up That's it, Debbie. You go, girl. Praise the Lord. Come on, Kathy. Woo, victory. Victor cancer. Don't have a stronghold. This morning, if you want to come and have a talk with God, well, I've been through the fire, oh, and I've been through the flood. Cancer is defeated this morning. Anxiety, fear is canceled this morning. Oh, it's going to open up. My Lord, bless you, God. Heal in the name of Jesus. Bless, bless, Lord, bless God, oh Lord. Bless Brian, Lord. Bless Timothy, Lord. This morning, Lord. Your season. Woo, my Lord. To be blessed. Hallelujah. God made you a promise. God gave you a yes, promise. You I test. said, God gave you a promise too. God gave you a window. promise this morning. My and Lord, Lord deliver us. Deliver us. Oh, it's your season. Woo, yes, it is. My Lord. To be blessed. My Lord, my Lord, my oh, Lord. It is your season. Bless Mother, Lord, healing in the name of Jesus. Tammy, Lord, Jerry, Lord. Lord, bless Dana this morning. Lord, I plead the blood. Rhoda, Lord. Lord, bless Nona, my Lord. Bless Mary. Woo! Shiva, Lord, Carla this morning, Lord. Lord, bless your daughter this morning, Lord. Yes, it is to be blessed. Woo! Somebody praise him. I said somebody ought to praise the Lord this morning. Somebody ought to praise him. Going out. Woo, oh, my Lord. Coming in. Hallelujah. Oh, open up Woo, my Lord, my Lord. Pour you out. Hallelujah. Oh, it's Hallelujah. your season. Yes, it is to be blessed. Oh, it's your season to be blessed. Oh, God don't, made you a promise. Don't let the devil rob you, you the smoke. I said, don't let the devil rob you of a supernatural blessing this morning. Oh, my Lord. Come on, Forrest. Help me praise him this morning, brother. Come on, Leah. Help me praise him this morning. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. To be blessed. In a second. God made you a My Lord. Come on, church. Come on, paralyze the enemy. Paralyze him. Paralyze him. Somebody say it's my season. Woo, it's your season, Debbie. God it's your season. Like Woo, my Lord. Come on down. I want to pray with you. Oh, if anybody needs salvation, come on down, my Lord. Woo! 
I need some prayer warriors. I need some prayer warriors this morning. Hallelujah. Woo. It's your season, Brother Russ. Woo. By the power, by the power, Lord of the Holy Ghost this morning. Healed in the name of Jesus. Healed in the name of Jesus. Jesus. It's Woo! your season. My Lord. To be my Lord. Not by I'll my might, nor by power, yes, but do. by my you spirit. By my spirit. Woo! My Lord, that healing power, healing Lord, virtue, healing virtue, healing virtue. Sister, raise those hands up. Come on, church, let's gather around. Pray for in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Woo, just believe right now, girl. Just believe. Lord, we speak to this mountain this morning. Be thou removed. Be thou removed in the name of Jesus. We're gonna shout, Lord. We're gonna shout. Deliverance, peace, strength in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you promised it. Woo! Receive it right now, girl. Receive it in the name of Jesus. My Lord, anybody else need prayer? Come on down. If you need prayer, come on down. These altars are open. These, come on, let's just have a little church this morning. Let's have a little church this morning. Amen. Praise God. Somebody pray for somebody. Just go pray for somebody. Just do something this morning. Amen. The power of God is here. He's ready to touch. He's ready to bless. He's ready to anoint. He's ready to raise up this morning. Pentecost. We need the Holy Ghost. Woo! These altars are open. Prayer line is open. Holy Ghost line is open. Come on, Timothy. Come on, Timothy. Come here, buddy. Help me out. Come here, help me out, buddy. In the name of Jesus.
Glory to God. Glory to God. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. She for the She never had a Maya. Jesus on the She never had a Maya. She never had a Maya. Blessing, Lord. Blessing, Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. said rejoice again I say rejoice Woo! my lord my lord I've had people say well I don't want to go to a dead dried up church yeah, come on. we remedied that solution this morning yeah. hello I'm not afraid of the devil I'm not afraid of the silencers. This is our season as God's people, as God's church. We're going to rejoice in the cross. We're going to rejoice in the blood. We're going to rejoice in the holy word. Woo, my Lord, my Lord. Some of you wonder what did I get into? I come last Sunday to preach his own sin and repentance. I come this Sunday to preach on the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost shows up. Woo! I'm telling you, that's the modern day church. That's the church. I said, that's the church. I still believe in the old time Pentecostal way, Brother Dustin. I still believe in the Acts chapter 2 church. I still believe in the power of the moving of the Holy Ghost. And they were in an upper room. Ooh. Timothy, I love you, buddy. This young man got witness to yesterday at door knocking. Come to church last night. And here he is again on Sunday morning. I'm proud of you, young man. Praise God. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings. My Lord. Paralyze the enemy. I've had people say, Well, I'm just tired of tired of Satan getting my goat. Well then quit telling where you got him tied up at. This is what these services, these are called times of refreshing because the Holy Ghost knows what you need and he comes down to trouble the water so you can step in the water and get your deliverance. My Lord, somebody ought to shout with me this morning. The Holy Ghost knows you better what you know yourself. And he comes to down to spend time with us, to commune with us, and fellowship with us. He comes to deliver you. He comes to heal you. He comes to minister to you. Do you realize in John, the, John the 12th chapter, verses 12 and 13, that John, as Jesus was coming into Jerusalem, as last final week, he said there were people there were people that had heard of his coming. Yeah. You can be seated just for a second. They had heard of his coming. I don't think you've heard me yet. There were some people that had come to Jerusalem for the feast of the Passover. There were thousands of people in the city, and the word got out that Jesus was coming. I said they heard Jesus was coming. 
the people heeded to the word. They got their stuff ready, and they went down to the street, and they were looking for the Messiah to come walking down the street. I said the people made preparation. They made preparation for the king was coming. I said the king was coming, and they heard he's going to come down this road, brother. He's made it known. He's not coming down some back alleyway. He's coming right down the... He's coming right down the road. He's coming right down the road. And you got to be ready. You got to be watching. You got to have your lamp and your trims burning. They heard he was coming. They heard he was church. I've been telling you. You're hearing it. He's coming. Some of you are still playing games. Some people are still playing games. Some people, well, I've heard this for since I was a baby. Yeah, but your salvation is nearer today than when you first believed. The point is, they made preparation. See, there were ten. There were ten virgins. Five were wise. Five were foolish. Come on, somebody. The five wise, they made preparation. They heard, they heard that the bridegroom was coming. They heard the bridegroom was coming. But there were five foolish that they ran out of oil. Church, this is no time. This is no time for the church to run out of oil. It's no time for us to go bar. You don't have time. You don't have time. Today is the day of salvation. Today, right here, right now, is your breakthrough. And while they were gone... And while they were gone, it's when the bridegroom came right down the road. There was a parade. I said, there was a parade. There was a celebration going on. There was a celebration going on, Brother Dustin. There was a parade. There was hooping. There was hollering. There was shouting. But there was some that missed it. There was some that missed it. Church, don't miss it this morning. The children were there. The children were there and they had their palm branches. They were crying out in the streets. And the disciples said, hush, don't do that. Don't do that. And Jesus spoke the words. He said, if you tell them to be quiet, he said, the very stones, the very stones is going to cry out in my name. Let me tell you, if we don't give him praise, nature will. If we don't give him worship, the rocks and the trees and the waves and the animals, they will praise him. Somebody praise him this morning. They heard he was coming. They got on the road. They were looking for him. Every time we come to church, we ought to be looking for him. We ought to be expecting the Messiah to come down my road. Coming down my road, Brother Dustin. He's going to come down my road. Some of you may have a jackass. Master needs him. Hello. I said some of you may have a donkey. The master needs him. The master needs you this morning. The master wants you. The master needs you this morning. You know what I like about that story, Brother Dustin? He, Jesus said, he said, told the disciples, he said, you go down there and you're going to find a, if you're going to find a donkey tied up and you're going to find his coal there beside of it. He said, go tell the master, go tell the owner that I have need of him. John 11, John 11 tells him, he says, he said, tell him I'm going to borrow him, but I'm going to bring him back. So many times we're worried about giving up something. Sometimes we're worried about surrendering over something because he needs it. 
He made you a promise if you let me use it. If you let me use it, I'll bring it back to you. He said, cast your bread upon the waters and not many days hence. They shall keep coming back. I'm telling you, if you got to be faithful enough, you got to be trustworthy enough to let God bless you, let God use you, let God, my Lord, my Lord. I would rather have what God returns to me because the master rode upon it. The master's touched it. The master's used it for his purpose and for his glory. We get stingy. We don't want God to use my clothes, but there were people there that laid their clothes in the street. We say, it's mine, and nobody's going to get it. It's mine. I worked hard for it. It belongs to me. It's mine. Let me tell you something. He brought the mule back. If you'll trust God this morning with your life. If you'll trust him with your soul, with your heart this morning, he'll bless it. He'll use you, and he'll return to you a hundredfold return for your young. Thank you, Sister Amanda, for listening to the Holy Spirit this morning. Thank you for being obedient. Folks, it's our season. Outside that world is hell. I said outside that, world, outside that wall this morning, there's a hell. There's demonic spirits. I went to a motel room the other day. It was the last one in 200 miles. I'm, Josh, the last motel in 200 miles either direction. There was no rooms available, vac no vacancy anywhere. Josh kept hunting. He kept looking. He finally found us one in Monroe, Louisiana. He said, it's the last one we got. Josh said, I'll take it. The rest of the family didn't know it. But about 1.30 that morning, I had to get up, and I was fighting the spiritual battle of my life. I don't know who had been in that room before me. I don't know what was in that room before me. I don't know what was being washed in that room before me. But there was demonic demon spirits in that motel room. But I'm thankful to God this morning, brother, does that the Holy Ghost knows, and the Holy Ghost touched my heart. And I got up, and I took authority over those demon spirits. I cast those demons out of that room. Somebody got a blessed room the next night. I'm telling you, you got to take authority over the devil. You got to take authority over demonic spirits. You got to take authority over the lies, over pornography. You got to take authority over drugs. You got to take authority over alcohol. You got to take authority over gossip. You got to take authority over backbiting. You got to take authority over slandering and talking about somebody behind their back. You got to take authority over a lying tongue. Let me tell you, the devil ain't afraid to show up. He'll come to attack. But you've got to be given authority over him. You've been given authority over him. You've got to tear down those walls, the strongholds the enemy's put up. I'm fixing to wrap this thing up. But I know this much. The king is coming to town. The king come to town. The king come to town. The king come to town. Here's the question. Are you going to be responsible in meeting him? Are you going to be responsible in showing up? Are you going to be responsible to being on the side of the road, waving your palm branches, welcoming the king? Do you realize in America? Do you realize here? I'll give you one, I'll give you one closing already. In America, we've got this thing kind of messed up sometimes. I'll show you why. Because there can be an old football team that can go win the national championship, and they can fly back in on their big jet, and people will meet them at the airports. They'll have flowers, and they'll have wine, and they'll have all this stuff. All over 22 guys fighting over a little round ball. But people will turn up by the thousands. At the airport, the mayor says, we're going to count this day as a day of honor for them. And they'll have a parade right down the middle of Main Street. They'll throw out the red carpet. 
They might even give them the key to the city. I'll tell you how messed up it is. Our American soldiers can go fight on foreign soil, and there won't be nobody, maybe but their wife or their immediate family, meet them at the airport. They're the real heroes. They're the real soldiers that has fought for our freedom today. We're messed up. We're messed up. And they got them sleeping. President, you better hear me this morning. What you're doing to our soldiers in Washington, D.C., it is not right. I pray you let our soldiers go and come back home in the name of Jesus. with our military like that. You don't treat human beings like that. You don't treat them like that. That's right. Give our veterans a hand this morning. Give our soldiers a hand. We thank God for you. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Hallelujah. Pelosi, let them go home. Amen. And when Jesus come walking down the street, there were little kids that were there. There were some of the other people there, all in the same passage, in the same few weeks, same few days, were crying out, crucify him, crucify him. Let me tell you some folks, we don't need to crucify Jesus the second time. But there are people that are. There are people that are trying to crucify him again. Once was enough. Once was enough. Let me say this morning, when he comes to yell assembly, we need to roll out the red carpets. We need to open our hearts. We need to open our eyes. We need to open our hand and say, you are welcome here. You are welcome here in my life. You're welcome here in my heart. Lord, you want you to reign in my heart. We want to hoop and holler. We want to hoop and holler over some old basketball game. We come to church, we want to sit like a knot on a log, like nothing's happening. Hello, folks. Pastor, you're offending me. I don't care if I am offending you. I'd rather offend you than offend my God. It was not you that died for me, but it was Jesus that died for me. It was Jesus that loved me. It was Jesus that gave his life for me. Amen. It's my job as a pastor and a shepherd to point people to the Messiah, to point people to Jesus, to point people to the cross. If you don't like the church, there's churches down the road who'll be a lot less, more sensitive to you. They'll take all your ears down the street. Somebody said, Pastor, you're just getting old and crusty. I don't know about that, but I know that I'm getting more bold. But I love people. I care about people. I care about people. I may be a little rough around the edges, but that's all right. But you'll know one thing. You'll see that pastor stands behind me kicking my hind end all the way to heaven. I ain't going to pamper you. It's time for us to grow up. It's time for us to mature. My it's time for us to grow up because the king is coming. Let's stand to our feet this morning. I just heard the trumpet sounding. The king is coming. The king is coming. I just heard the trumpet sounding. And now. Can you praise him this morning? Can you praise the Lamb of God this morning? Hallelujah. How are you ready, church? Are you ready to meet him? Have you made the preparation? Sing it this morning. He's coming for me. Sing it again. Sing it to him this morning, church. The King is coming. The King Hallelujah. Give him praise. is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just heard the trumpet thank God, sounding. Thank God. Thank God. And now oh, his face I see. Oh, praise God. 
praise Shatala Morhatala Labata. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Woo, he's coming, church. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. One more time. One more time. One more time. One more time. Oh, the king is coming. Oh, the king. The King is coming. I just heard the trumpet sound. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And now Hallelujah. His face I see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, the King is coming. The King is coming. Praise God. He's coming. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hang up of praise this morning. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. Thank you, Jesus, for the promises of God. Father, we just come to praise you. Lord, as the people were ready. Lord, the people were prepared to meet you. God, help us to be prepared to meet you, Lord, when you come the second time. Lord, when you come in your imminent return to rapture the church. God, help us to be ready. Help us to be watchful. Help us to be watchful, Lord. Watching, Lord. Watching, Lord, for your imminent return. God, hallelujah. I just, just praise him. My Lord, I feel the Holy Spirit. My Lord. I feel the Holy Spirit move in church. Praise the Lamb right now. Praise the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. My, 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 my. I feel him. Holy Spirit, speak your word to us this morning, Lord. Holy Spirit, speak to us this morning, Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lamb. Let's be sensitive. Let's be obedient, church. Just keep praising him right now. Keep loving on him. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Shodolomasita la matai. Father, we bless you for it, Lord, just to be in your presence. Lord, to be in your presence. Shitala bohorekishi la matai. Hitala bohorekishi onobokola matai. Metiara bohola masionola mokiondola la kienda la matai. Iala mohora maishima monoko no 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 moto. Mela mokila la la mosionda la ria kite li amana naka. Molo mosoro ho sita la bositi la 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 mata. Glory shata la bohora kita la mala la mata. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Lord. Sholo mohola mala mata. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit of God, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Be sensed to be obedient. Hallelujah. Oh, church, prepare this morning. Prepare for his coming. Don't leave here this morning not saved. Don't leave here this morning with unforgiveness in your heart. Don't leave here this morning with unforgiven sin. Prepare, my Lord. One more time, guys. The King is coming. Hallelujah. Coming. Hallelujah. The King is coming. 
just heard Hallelujah. the trumpet Hallelujah. sound. Today's the day, church. And this is your season. Now his face I see. Oh, the King is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. is coming. Praise God. He's coming for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise this morning. <laughs> praise God. Somebody to praise the Lord this morning. Church, He's been good to us. He has been good to us. He has been good to us. My, what a Savior. What a Savior this morning. Go tell somebody about Jesus. Invite them to church. Come back out tonight expecting you don't want, I promise you, you do not want to miss tonight. Brother Dwayne, he is a, he's a missionary, but he is an evangelist. He is anointed. I'm telling you, if you come tonight, you will be blessed. Make every effort to be here. Invite somebody to come out tonight. Brother Kevin, won't you dismiss us in prayer this morning, my brother? Praise your Lord. Praise your Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Happy Palm. Good to have. Good to have Dane and Rex back with us this morning. Good to have Timothy with us. Good to have Miss Janet Haskins with us this morning. Good to have all the home folk. Lord bless you. Lord love you. You're dismissed.